Usually I don't jump on the snapshot video train, but this is just too special to not make a video about. This is something we've been waiting on for like years. I am not exaggerating if I say three years, because I think it's actually more than three years. But anyways, if you haven't heard already, Mojang released an alpha version of the mod API in the latest snapshot. They are actually calling it the plugin API, so I'll just call it the plug plugin API too in the remainder of this video you can see the blog post here but let me just tell you it doesn't even come close to summing up all the amazing new possibilities that are added with this for those of you who do not know what the mod api or plugin api is all about well the plugin api is much like the current forge or mod loader or any other modding api that exists but unlike those, this one is maintained and officially supported by Mojang itself. So this means that once uh, Minecraft will update, all the uh, people who make mods will be able to update their mods right away and they do not have to wait for some third party to update their uh, mod API. So that is one cool thing and there's infinite other <laughs> really awesome uh, things uh, around this but anyways um, what does this actually mean for us the players I hear you think well for one it makes installing mods a lot easier and I am almost certain there will be like kind of like a marketplace kind of like the Google Play Store or the Apple App Store you have on your phone but then for mods I can see that happening I'm not saying it will but I, I have well it would make a lot of sense that you would be able to install mods from your launcher or something with just the click of a button. So that's just something I was thinking about. There's probably a lot of other super awesome things that are going to come because this is just the alpha release. So who knows what will be in, in, in the next versions. But yeah. Um, for the more experienced users, I've also included links in the description for uh, this blog post, but also the uh, plugin API docs. So you can just start um, creating mods yourself. It's um, it's already a pretty complete API, so it's uh, it's very neat and tidy. So it was actually very easy because I uh, already made a couple mods myself, uh, two in fact, just to showcase in this video. So it's uh, yeah, the API docs are very good. And um, so like I just said, to demonstrate the power of the new API, I have prepared two very simple mods. The first one is a simple custom command, uh, equip, and that will actually give the player um, that is executing the command a diamond sword along with a full suit of diamond armor that will be automatically equipped. So kind of like um, the kit command you find on some servers. The second one is uh, just a simple thing where I show you that you can also customize block behavior and stuff. So what I did is I added all the features of a furnace to a diamond block. So when you place a diamond block and right click on it, it will actually open up the furnace interface and you can start to smelt stuff and it will actually work. So that's just a very simple example of uh, changing m uh, block behaviors and stuff. So we're first going to check out the equip command here in game. So I'm just going to type equip here. And when I now press enter, you'll see I get a diamond sword here. But also if I open up my inventory, here you can see I have the uh, diamond armor also equipped. So. I've also loaded up the second mod now, I forgot to copy the file so that's why it wasn't working before but anyways if I now uh, grab a diamond block here and um, some pork chops and of course uh, I'll also need some wood to cook it and if I now put one of those diamond blocks down and I'll just put a few here as well I can now right click and start cooking the pork chops. The Behavior is exactly the same like I said as with a normal furnace and when I will show you the code in the next part of the video you'll see why that is actually the case. So I'm going to keep this part short and sweet as I think most of you don't really care too much about uh, these technical details. But anyways, uh, I should also mention that this is just one part of the uh, mod files. So the complete mod files have a lot of boilerplate and stuff. 
and I'm only showing you the bare essentials that you need to actually understand how these things work so I uh, just le left out all the unnecessary information so anyways um, the first one is the uh, the command so the equip command um, to make a custom command you basically have to extend or inherit whatever you want to call it from the base class which is minecraft command I call it equip command and of course there has to be a constructor but because this um, command is so simple I didn't really have to uh, set much in the constructor I just call the um, constructor of minecraft command here and then I also set the permission which is all just some basic stuff um, and then next up is the execute method here and this basically gets called every time someone executes a command so it is then up to you to actually check if it is your command so to do this is very very simple we get a sender passed um, uh, the first argument which is basically the name of your command and then an array of arguments which are all the other parts of your command basically so first up we check if it is the equip command of course and we also uh, just do a simple check uh, to see if it's actually a player that is sending the command then we get the player from the sender object and we start adding all the stuff to his inventory so first we uh, add the helmet and the chest plate the leggings the boots and then lastly we add just a diamond sword to the inventory so this probably all looks a lot like you know the the <laughs> conventional mod apis i guess like forge or or mod loader or maybe even bucket or something so this is all very similar um, so let's have a quick look at the second mod which is even <laughs> smaller i really did remove a lot of boilerplate here but basically what i'm doing here for the diamond furnace is i'm registering an event handler that captures all the click events from a player so we then get the event here and we just need to check if it is actually a right click action on a block so what we need and so we check that here and then of course we also need to check if the right click block is actually a diamond block so that is what's happening here and then if that is all true that means we have captured the right event we just cancel the event so when someone would place a block next to the diamond block it would normally appear next to the diamond block but because we want to open up the smelting interface we do not want to place that block to prevent that from happening we just um, cancel the event and that is what's going on here so we call the set cancelled method with true as the parameter and then last but not least we create a new inventory object we pass the furnace class to yeah to say uh, show the the furnace uh, inventory i guess and then we open the inventory at the player that did the event by calling the open inventory method and that's pretty much it so those are the two small mods and their code um i'll probably put a download link or something in the description like i said before very easy to install uh, I'm probably going to do a lot more videos about the mod API or plugin API or whatever you want to call it in the future because this is honestly <laughs> one of the biggest updates if not the biggest update in the last years of uh, Minecraft and I am very excited myself I have a lot of uh, new ideas and stuff that I want to try out but anyways that's going to be it for this video and I will see you in the next one.